Hello and welcome to the continuing saga of the carbon fibre hood scoop. This has been a lengthy learning process um, and for the last like week I've been too busy with work to edit this stuff up. Let me take you on a journey of something I filmed about a week ago. I'm going to begin the process of plan B which has now become plan A which is to turn this styrene extruded insulation foam into a what we call a plug, and what I've discovered we call a plug, which is a three-dimensional mould shape. I'm going to rough that up into the shape, sand it all smooth, and then I'm going to cover it in a layer of epoxy to get our first mould. Here's what that looks like. Okay, that is... That's a hood scoop. You probably recognise it. Obviously, the front will have to have a cutout uh, for the air to go in. 12 centimetres. So I made a fair amount of dust. Plan B is going to become plan A. That is a three-dimensional, sanded, smoothed, correctly sized uh, hood scoop, basically. So hood scoop goes on there, and with a gap all around it, I turn this into an epoxy surfaced version of itself, and then I sand it all smooth, and then that allows me to mould as many as I like from this three-dimensional plug. So instead of having to do cut bits and pieces, I'm just gonna go from scratch. And this has been a much better learning process. The other thing is I had a bit of an epiphany. The first project that I tried to do, I mentioned before, was trying to mould these. It's a radiator cover. And I was trying to mould on the top so that I could create a, a mould and then lay up resin on the underside of it to make carbon fibre versions. But in my studies and thoughts of the last couple of days I've realised if I want to make a mould out of that, I'm actually holding a mould. All I need to do is turn it upside down, lay out carbon fibre on the inside of that, which is already smooth, and trim the edges. Like I went to an awful lot of e effort, like messing stuff up, when I could have just turned it over and laid up from the inside of that. So I may end up doing one of these before I do one of these. Later that same evening. So I've done this off camera because the amount of sanding that I have done, it's been about three hours of sanding and shaping this thing and it's just too much for a video. But I made good progress, invested my time in this plug version idea and after trimming this bad boy up and having a good old look at it, I was going to work on both at the same time but actually this is going to be way more effort and for an arguably worse result. So this is going to be my hood scoop. I just need to now mix up a bit of epoxy, fill in some of the gaps, because I will then want to do a full coat of epoxy over the top of it so that I can cast from it. So I'm just going to whip up a patch. Right, you're up on the workbench now. I've got my plug down below me here. And I'm just going to use some epoxy to fill in these gaps in the sides. I'm going to have to do both sides in two stages because of the way gravity works but that's okay I'll do this side now and I'll do the other side tomorrow I'll just take a couple of layers but this whole thing's going to get sanded smooth Might as well use this resin. It's all got to go in the bin otherwise. So that is a horrendous dusty mess, but at least I now have a plug that I can work with. Um, 
it is going to need some more layers of epoxy. Um, I'm going to have to try and research a way of uh, filling in those gaps because I can't mould over that uh, and I can't just use body filler because it's all polyester and it'll melt the styrofoam or styrene or whatever we're calling it. Um, I'll find a solution to that and I will come back in the next video. Plan A is now making a whole plug and mould thing from scratch but at least I've learned a lot from doing the other carbon fibre pieces that I think we're in better shape. If we weren't already on part 9, uh, I'd be very surprised because this is a lengthy process and lots of learning. So, uh, if you fancy it, have a go, but please expect that you will be having to spend a lot of money on chemicals to get started. This is much harder than I thought it would be, but at least I'm not having to vacuum bag it because if you have to do vacuum bag parts, then you have to spend like £350 just on a vacuum pump and then every time you want to infuse something with carbon epoxy, you know, with epoxy resin, like, you need about another £40 of supplies just to do any test part. At least with stuff like this, the cost is just the chemicals that go into the part. It's, you know, maybe like a paintbrush or something. Anyway, thank you for watching. Um, questions, comments, likes in the boxes down below. Thank you for joining us on this journey. I hope everyone is making good choices and look after yourselves and we will see you soon.